What I'm going to show you in today's video is going to change your entire Baldur's Gate 3 experience, I promise you that. If you watch the full video, you'll learn the process to kill anything in the game even without triggering a fight. Trust me, it feels heavenly when you do this, let me tell you the whole story. This is Arabella, in my last playthrough Kaga killed her. But you know what, it was not the end of Arabella. She was craving for revenge, thus she decided to become a ghost and take revenge on Kaga. She told me after becoming a ghost everyone is scared of her. She can hit and kill anyone but no one even dares to hit her back. But when I looked at her hit points I was like, really? Everyone is scared of you? I'm not buying this, please try someone else. Still she insisted me to see her in action and I was like, okay, go ahead, now let's see what she does. Look, she is striking and Kaga has no reaction, and also no one else in this place became hostile. After killing Kaga, Arabella went for her wolf. That poor wolf tried to escape but eventually failed after some time. Thus she completed her revenge, and I was like, what the hell is going on? However, she explained everything to me and I'll be telling you this a bit later. But before going to that part, I also asked her if she can do this to anyone. She said yes, then I asked her for a favor. I told her to take on the goblin leaders and she said, let's go. Now we are on our way to the goblin camp. Before we slay all the goblin leaders, let me tell you, after killing all three leaders by Arabella, we're gonna see a very rare car scene in the grove that I believe you have never seen before. Also, I want to include one thing that this type of videos take a lot of time, effort and research works to make. It really breaks my heart when I see that I get only one subscriber for every 1500 views. If you appreciate my work, I would request you to subscribe this channel which really encourages me to make more contents like this. Well, we have reached and the priestess is our first target. One special note, when you start striking, do not stop, don't give the enemy any chance to heal. Now to Minthara. Spears are sharp, the lads are all riled up and ready. The wait is almost over, let's finish this together. Have you heard? Scouts have just reported the goblins have been neutralized. The way is clear. The others are gathering near the gate. Come on! Now you might be wondering if all your party members get XP for killing enemies like this. The answer is yes, you get the XP. And in case of turn-based fights, the process becomes even easier. Arabella is not affected by turn-based mode and thus she gets unlimited turns to finish off all her enemies within a few minutes. Let me show you. I was very curious to know if I could kill the Githyanki Red Dragon by using Arabella. Let's try this.
After taking a hit, the dragon gets away. I don't know if it is even possible to kill this dragon at this stage. If you know anything about this, please let me know in the comment section. I also went to the bugbear barn in Blighted Village. In this case, they didn't get angry. Still, I killed them. I also killed the three ogres from the same area without any problem. However, by this time, I believe you have already understood that I have used Glad's animating sports on Arabella. Now, why did I choose Arabella? I did this because she is a child and no one attacks a child in this game. But the goblin children are exception here. Also, a tiefling child cannot be killed in this game. I have tried so many times. Even I brought their hit points to zero, still they didn't die. Again, goblin children can be killed in this game. As I can't kill a child, Arabella was my only option here who I got killed by Kaga. Then I took her body in my inventory. Now if you are not a regular audience of this channel, then you might be wondering how did I take Glad out of Underdark. I have a complete guide on that in this channel. Still, I'm trying to repeat the process in a nutshell. First, go to Underdark and talk to Sovereign Spa. After talking to him, take a long rest and then go to Glad and recruit him. Then use Fog Cloud and drop Arabella's corpse. Use Animating Sports to revive her as a companion. Then drop the strongest weapon from your party inventory and make Arabella equip it. Now dismiss Glad and use a secondary party member to recruit Glad again. After that go to camp. Now kill that secondary party member who recruited Glad and use your primary character to recruit Glad again. Then leave the camp. Take Glad to a suitable place and dismiss him. Now you'll see him roaming around this place. It is important to make sure that he is roaming around. Now use reduce the spell on him. I would highly recommend you to save the game at this stage. After that, use a strong character and use throw or improvised melee weapon option on him. Once he is picked up, just open the map and fast travel to your desired location. Make sure to do it quick. After the fast travel, you'll see Glad with you. Just ask him to join your party. Don't worry about the sports slave. As soon as you take Glad into your party, the sports servant will spawn immediately. As you have seen, Arabella is attacked by no one, so she doesn't need much support. Still, if you want, you can use spells on her to increase her attack rolls and hit points, but here is a problem. If you take Glad outside under dark like this, he will not stay permanently. However, I have found a solution to this. I have shown the full process to keep him permanently in this video. Also, I have shown the way to take Glad to act two areas in this video. I would highly recommend you to watch this video by clicking here. Visit my channel to get more Bowser sketch videos like this. Subscribe if you like. Till then, have a nice day. Goodbye.